Hello everyone and welcome back to another Sims 4 building challenge. Today we're going to be doing a very highly requested video on my channel. We are going to be building in grayscale black and white. Yay, I was gonna say, but it's gonna be nothing yay about this. I've been creating so many colorful builds recently that it honestly just makes sense that I just like void a game of any bit of color, any trace of happiness, just, just get rid of it because it's just been a lot with these every tile is a different color challenges. Maybe I do deserve to do a grayscale scale challenge. The rules are very simple. What I will have to do is turn my game fully grayscale. I have never done anything like this and to see my game grayscale it just looks so weird and everything is just kind of blending into one and I don't understand how it's going to be physically possible for me to build like this. Because fair enough I can kind of visualize what color this is. Like I wait what color is this? Is it like brown and blue? I don't know you get the point. I mean if I go for like my very favorite couch. Wait what is my my favorite couch this one I oh no that's not my favorite couch this is blue I think isn't it <laughs> like these are neutral so I know that this is gonna be a nice beigey couch and so will this be and I guess what I'm gonna try and do with this video is not to create like a funny colorful build to see how many colors are not gonna match together you know I'm not gonna go for something I have no clue about you know because I know that that's going to be ridiculous in the end I'm genuinely going to try from memory to be like oh wait that couch looks lovely and grayscale but I, I don't know I like the shape of it kind of interesting because it really makes you think about the shape rather than the color So you appreciate the actual structural features rather than the ugly colors that the game decides to choose like, you know I like this couch Um, So it would be funny if we were to like maybe pick like a nice light Do you get what I'm trying to say like I will pick my favorite items But I will try change colors of them and see how well I can I can make things work together I don't know. This is gonna be weird. It's gonna be hectic, but honestly, I agree I do deserve this. I've had way too much fun with color these days. Anyways, let's begin. I'm already like, because my whole computer is in grayscale. So even like watching myself on the screen here, everything is in grayscale. So I need to make sure I'm recording because there's usually like a red dot at the bottom to say I'm recording, but I cannot see the red dot. So that's fantastic. Um, I think I am recording. Anyways, I'm going to try and do a very small house. It's kind of hurting my eyes. Is this normal? I've, I know that a lot of YouTubers have done this challenge. So, you know, I'm not the only one. This is definitely a well and truly taped, what am I trying to say? Tested and played um, kind of challenge, which is great. You know, I think challenges like this, they're clearly fun. So this must be be, this must be really fun to do. Oh my god, what am I doing? I think I'm getting like sidetracked. Wait, let me focus on this house for a second. We want to do an upstairs. What do we feel? I kind of wish that this was like the, oh my god, the doors. Um, I want to go, I guess, for like modern vibes. Isn't that what I love? I think so. Oh my god, they all look the exact same. Like, <laughs> like I like this, this door, but I know that naturally this door oh where is it gone naturally this door is like black and that's like a nice dark wood tone so yeah which one are we gonna go for i mean i know that that's white but that is cheating oh <gasps> Whoa, oh my God, God knows what these two differences are between them. I know from just like color theory that the darker the color, obviously like if it's very dark, it's gonna be black. But if it's a darker gray, it's usually like a warm color, I think like a ready warm color. Um, <laughs> Okay, I, I was gonna tell you a fun fact, but it actually makes no sense because I, I still don't understand what I'm looking at. And I don't really wanna just go for the default swatch because I guess that is kind of cheating. So I might go for this swatch, whatever this is. I kind of like this. I think this would be nice. She says in a panic. I don't know why, but I, I'm i possessed to start off with the roof for some reason. I have, I don't ever do that. What is going on? Something is possessing me to, to start off with the actual roof. And do I want to do a second floor? I suppose it kind of would be nice if I do. Wait, what is going on in this house? Jeez, we're really just going insane. Oh my God, that's not... That's not okay. <laughs> oh wait, that's kind of cute. What are we thinking? Okay, I'm not too mad about this. Or wait, should this peak be higher than this peak? No, the other way around. I don't know why, but I'm not mad about this. I mean, I'm not mad at it, but I'm not necessarily really mad about it either. But look, <laughs> I think that would be a pretty cute little small at one second. I haven't even done the layout. What am I even doing? Okay, I need to calm down for one second. Let me focus on the layout. Okay, so I want this to be the bathroom. I'm thinking maybe this could be like a kitchen. We could do a dining and sitting room and then maybe we could do like a little office space. Maybe if I just make this a little bit bigger. Oh my god, so hard to see anything. The fact that the grass is green makes no sense. 
much. Um, I don't know, this roofing for some reason is staying. Um, this weird cross roof, but I like it apparently, so <laughs> can't complain now. Okay, I might do like this thing here. I don't know if this this really looks good, but okay, that's that's interesting. Would it be very weird if I actually just went for like an open open window? Like, uh, sorry, what am I trying to say? Open window? No, like an open what what am i saying an actual like glass roof i think that would be pretty interesting okay i want to do a dark trim like gray um because i want this house to like i'm thinking that this door is gray like some sort of like a gray vibe so i want i don't want the trim to be white do you get me so do i just kind of expect like something like this to be a gray because like that's a nice swatch if this was gray but it probably won't be gray so i'm probably just going going to be very upset when I see that but anyway oh um I think one of these is like a nice dark color so I'm gonna go for the last swatch it seems the darkest okay that's pretty interesting if you ask me but you should definitely not ask me my opinions anymore because I think they are invalid at this point actually can I just do a platform roof please square platform let's go let's just do oh my god what am i doing oh no <laughs> my house is sunk into the ground <laughs> honestly as it probably should at this point because this is just gonna look hideous okay platform trims okay i do want it to be oh that's kind of cool actually i kind of like that because i want it to match oh my god i'm hoping that this dark color will match the trim of the house oh my god oh god okay anyways right that's fine so far so good okay it's a very interesting um house to be fair i'm i'm trying something different today now where in the name of god do i put the stairs though should we do the layout first actually yeah let's do that one second let me get some saucer lights just so i can see what i'm doing even though what am i even wanting to see because there's not much to see here <laughs> okay um i want there to be a dining table somewhere so if that's gonna be the kitchen wait actually how does that gonna look that's not how i wanted this roof to look i mean from outside it kind of looks good but from the inside it kind of looks weird yeah i mean it looks weird but i don't know i kind of like it i don't know let's just let's just pretend it looks cool okay let's just pretend okay so maybe let me just see the sizes of the dining tables so this is gonna be a small house probably just for like a couple so i'm thinking oh my god what if we go for like a small table so imagine imagine this like that so that could be like here and then to divide the space up a little bit jesus okay how am i supposed to figure out the colors okay i think i want to go for do we want to go for dark colors i think so i know naturally this comes in like a very muted dark brown but i kind of want it to be darker so i'm thinking maybe this one would be the right swatch can't intersect walls what do you mean if i just bring this outside for one second what if we do this one second i always get very confused with the stairs it's very difficult to make them work you know this now that supposedly is going to get rid of a chair whatever it's fine what if i make it like this instead i kind of like this should we do like a wall here just to kind of divide the space yeah that's pretty cute i like it i mean i did kind of want there to be a door here like kind of one of these honestly i think we need more like little slidey outdoor doors like one of these for for like a back door do you get me like that looks like a hospital door so not that one but you get what i'm trying to say like i want more of these but that looks a bit too shabby for me if you get me you get what i'm trying to ask for i don't know because half the time i don't really know what i'm asking for like, obviously we could use this one but i think that one's a bit ugly like if you gave me this but like less japanese do you get what i'm trying to say i don't know maybe you don't maybe you do who knows i'm like desperately trying to make sure i'm recording because i can't see the red dot and it's like giving me some amounts of anxiety that I don't know whether I'm recording or not, but I am. What if I use this as the back door? I guess we could try. I think naturally that comes... Wait, actually, no, I might use this one. I know that this one is black and I think I might just be happy with the, the black color for, for this for this video. I might just be happy with it, okay? um, I also, like, can't tell because, like, I thought... It, I was like, why can't I place this there? And it's obviously, like, it would be normally red. I'm gonna just put on my move objects key so that I can put everything where 
wherever I want it. Okay. Like, I know that this is kind of squishy feeling. But, like, surely... Surely this would work like that. No, it is very squishy though, isn't it? I don't know. Okay, we'll think about that in a minute. Right, so this then would be your sitting room. Do I want another wall here? Yeah, I guess that's not too bad. We could do like a column to, to kind of close everything off. A column, she says. What nice column do we have? Oh my God, all the colors. They're all blending into one. Okay, so again, I'm gonna trust my gut and say that we want like a dark brown. So I'm thinking this is gonna be a dark brown. So I'm gonna get two. <laughs> two of those because like look realistically that looks like it would match the stairs like a like a pretty nice shade you're on the same page as me surely anyways so that way then that leaves like our little sitting space and then maybe we could do like a little closed office here yeah like a small little office i think that's pretty that's pretty cute um we're gonna use my favorite door which is this one and i think this is the dark brown color yeah i i think i'm pretty confident to say that that's the brown um dark brown shade <laughs> Okay, going up upstairs, um, I'm just gonna do, should I do like a little loft bedroom? Or should we do, yeah, cause this isn't really like a big space up here. I mean, we could do like a, just like a bedroom and an ensuite upstairs. That's enough, I think. <laughs> That's a very big bedroom though. How big are the beds again? Oh my God, everything is blending into one. What beds do I like? I almost feel sick doing this. I like this bed, honestly. And I know that one has a like, gold accent on it, I think. So would I dare to try and make like a little gold, gold vibey room? What if I actually do, oh my God, no, that's not what I meant to do. Undo, undo. If I just copy this over, I could actually do another little bedroom, like a small box room, but that would be, that would be a bit much, surely. So maybe we could just open this up and have like a little seating area, you know, another seating area because <laughs> I love my seating areas. I'm sorry. I know you guys are probably like enough with the seating areas, but I love seating areas. So look, you're just gonna have to deal with my seating areas. Okay. Interesting. Interesting layout. Right. I'm going to just put a little like front porch scenario here. So I kind of just want maybe... A little, little front porch just to give us something i think that's pretty cute then i'm also thinking if i take the same pillar because i've clearly trusted this pillar with my life and my soul and maybe if i put two of them there it kind of would have like a cute little thing here one second actually can i can i not like if i put a wall there would i be able to change the wall to yeah i can so if i go for oh wait this one is nice yeah wait we could do we could do that that's actually pretty cute is it though actually not very modern though that's the wrong color i fear god i actually can't remember what color that normally is i think it's like a brown so i think I think I need to go for, oh God, they look so different, but weirdly enough, kind of the same. I think I might do this. Anyways, I'm gonna do some windows next. And I think the windows will be pretty easy. Wait, actually, no, nothing is gonna be easy here. <laughs> I might use this window here. Would I dare and just do black windows? Because I know that that swatch is a black window. And then I could go for this and go for a black as well. What What now? Maybe we could do that window here. Oh God, no, this house. I think it's this that's throwing me off. Maybe I need to get rid of this. Whoops, this. Yeah, get rid of that. So maybe I need to do this instead. Yeah, okay, this is what I need. Okay, and I think that color, yes. Okay, one second. Why won't it let me? Oh, why do I have to do it on the whole thing though? Oh, what's going on? This house is ugly. <laughs> Okay, anyway, I'm gonna just continue now. So what if we do a black version of Lord Above? This is disgusting, genuinely. What other nice windows do we have? I mean, would it be bad if I just do two of them like that? I don't think it's that bad. And then maybe we could do like a full length one into the bathroom like this, because obviously that's just a very normal thing to do in a bathroom. And then the ones into the bedroom, we could just do, yeah, we could just do another full length one like this here. And... Another one like that or maybe not actually maybe no maybe we could just go for another one of these here oh lord no one second i need someone's approval because i am losing my mind at this okay so since that's gonna be also the sitting room i guess maybe we could just do the same kind of window in the back that's pretty i hate what's going on here with the stairs can we get that fixed in the sims actually the fact that like the stairs do this weird line how do i get rid of it can someone tell me because i really hate that 
so ugly so annoying now i do like using where is that oh my god i feel sick looking at these colors where is my oh what's it called snowy escape window you know it's weird because i can't remember any of these like original swatches but also i feel like if the swatches were on i would be able to find things easier you know it's like i'm i'm familiar with the colors but not familiar enough okay i'm gonna have to find oh my god i'm like squinting it's like i can't see <laughs> oh my god where is snowy escape okay there we go okay this window guess we're gonna go for the black one is this a black swatch i don't know i'm just gonna put one in the kitchen at least okay now that makes me feel like i should change the door to be a different swatch now i could just make it black but would that be boring i feel like whatever this is would have a little bit of black and also a little bit of color so that's great okay that's our house essentially kind of complete the actual shape of it actually no it's not i want to do this here as well i'm gonna do like a little patio area and maybe we could just do oh wait that's black with like a brown and i think that brown is actually a nice swatch so i'm gonna do this i think so yeah okay that's nice love it okay let's do the part that's really going to throw me over the edge let's do the actual wall colors so yeah colors is the main key word here i cannot see any colors so how am i supposed to know what colors these are because you see that already looks like the black swatch of this swatch so is that gonna be the black swatch of that would i chance just going black here just like maybe at the front like this okay and then oh my god i cannot see anything oh this is a lovely swatch of just like concrete could i just do like a gray concrete like this maybe actually this whole extension could be this lovely like gray concrete now that's gonna be black as well and then the rest of the house it would be nice if we had like a bit of a pop of a color <laughs> am i gonna regret the fact that i just said pop of color probably wait where is that swatch i was just holding like this one where is it oh my god wh where is it which one is selected this one i can't see the green selected like thing i think it's this one there's a lovely blue color and I think, wait now, let me think, where is the blue color? Is it this one? It's quite dark. Or maybe it's this one. Oh, wait, what if I go for, maybe actually I'll go for this. Whatever this color is, I think this will be really pretty. I'm hoping that this might be like a blue shade. What do we think? Oh, wait, the back. Back of the house. Uh, that would make sense. Okay, so, oh yeah, and here as well. Now, I need to do the floor as well. So I guess like a nice wood color. I really like this one. And obviously this is my favorite swatch. But I think maybe for this house, I might use one of these. So maybe like if I go for this one. Yeah, I don't know. I think this would look cute. I mean, so far it's a very dark house. And I'm kind of actually regretting it a bit. Um, yeah, I feel like that color there is a bit too dark like i kind of have a feeling it's all literally going to be black i don't know will i just chance it i don't know what to do i'm stressed i need to do something on the on the roof maybe i could just do this one i think like maybe just the white color of this let me just really quickly do some landscaping oh my god all the trees they all look the same i might just do a little bit like obviously we all know like what colors these little bushes and shrubs are so let's just do a little bit of landscaping just to make this house feel nicer you know just to make me feel like i'm doing something nice okay so i just added some landscaping and what i did as well to hide that stupid line in the back i put these shrubs in here so do you know these ones oh hanging maple leaves i put a load of them there i don't usually use them but in black and white they actually look really nice but i feel like they're gonna look horrendous i added just like a little overhanging thing there and you know just some stuff to make the house actually feel nice and honestly in black and white i actually do like the way it's turning out but obviously that's probably not going to look like this i'm very hopeful but you know it's probably not going to look very very good okay so then for the flooring in the kitchen i might just go for the very safe option and go for just my like concrete and this concrete could actually flow all the way throughout the house until we go into the sitting room in the sitting room is where i will pick i think i'm gonna go for i'm gonna go for my favorite flooring but I think, see, I'm scared one of these is like a like a horrible, like dark red color. But I just wanted it to be like a deep wooden color. So I think maybe this one would be nice. Because, you see, I'm going to have to go with this color now throughout the whole entirety of the house. I'm also going to do it in the bedroom. And obviously, like in the office and stuff. So I like to, I'd like to think I've chosen the right color for this. 
you know for the bathroom wait which ones are the tiles these ones for the bathroom i want where is it i want this and i think i'm gonna go for will i go for the black or is that gonna be cheating but then again which one is the black one this one or that one maybe i'll go for this one okay and then upstairs we could just do the original swatch because i think it's it's like a greeny kind of color so what about then for the walls um the walls will be an issue okay if you go into i think wait now where is it um the very end of well this i know is white this is like a plastered white wall um maybe we could do some of that somewhere <laughs> just to be safe what do we think or is that way too way too safe Maybe we could do at least a little bit of white as you come in here, just in that little corner. I actually just don't really remember like what walls there are. Like what do I normally use in the kitchen? Like I guess I could try and throw this maybe matching one no the i'm thinking that this is white surely that's gonna be a black and white bathroom so then upstairs we could go for just a regular white and black okay there we go surely those are my two safe options and it can only go downhill from here okay i like actually where is that is it this oh no not that i don't know what to do i'm panicking what do i normally do i like really don't know what would be nice is this a nice like gray color i guess is it Maybe we could do that there. Okay. And then we could go for you know, these ones. There's like a nice gray as well with these ones. So maybe we could go for... Yeah, surely this is a nice gray. I might do that there. And then, since this is your nice little gray swatch as well, I might run that to here. And then we might actually just run the white then all along this wall. And maybe like this one as well. And then we could do another accent wall here in the sitting room. I'm thinking maybe we could do the accent wall actually um, like a wooden tone. Like I like this one actually. Should we go for this? Maybe like this swatch we'll do that as our accent because i think that's like a nice deep wood color and i think that will match fingers crossed <laughs> for the office i'm gonna go with the very very safe option of this i know that's like a like, nice little green shade why does this keep happening to my rooms like the swatches keep like intersecting in there just gonna play it safe and i'm just gonna do the white um concrete upstairs but then for the bedroom i want what nice moody vibes in the bedroom so i'm gonna hope that this will be like the gold kind of bed so maybe we could go for hmm we could go for this although is that too much like i know i like this and surely that's white but like that'd be ugly if i do this and then wait now one of these yeah see this is white i know this is the the white wall would that be ugly if i do this I mean, I think I'd like to fill it up with plants and like stuff to make it look nice. So I'm thinking that that's just going to be white and then the accents will be black. Okay, so that's all of our walls and flooring done. So I'm going to just begin with the kitchen. I mean, at this point, I have not much to lose. I want to make this very modern. So I'm thinking let's just play it safe and go for these. Or will I go for these? Naturally, what ones? What color is this? Like maybe go for this. That looks like it would match. Okay, we'll go for a corner here. Then we might do, let's see, we might do this fridge. So I will change the color maybe to white. And then a nice stove. This one's my favorite one. So we'll do this. I think that's a nice color. So I'm not even going to bother changing the color of that. And then, wait now, I'm going to move the fridge in. I hate how the fridge doesn't clip like with the, the counters. Like what's that about? Can we get that sorted please game i'm gonna use the new bin i know that it comes in like a weird color to begin with but i'm gonna i'm gonna chuck it in there and i'm gonna change it to like i don't know a white i don't know let's just play it safe at this point so that way then i think i could whoa sorry now i just realized whoa that's such a cool swatch of this table oh i wonder is that like colorful that's really cool I like that. I mean, I, I don't even know if this is going to be the table that we're going to be. I think that's a very light beigey color table though. So do we want that? I feel like we don't. I feel like we would want to make it a bit darker. So maybe I'll do this. Is that nice? Please say yes. I want to throw a rug in the middle of all of this. I don't even know what I'm clicking at this point. I want a nice rug. And I kind of feel like the wicker one would work here. Like this one. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I'm so scared, but like I, I, I think I'm doing a pretty good educated guess. Um, and you know, in the 
and the concept of this house. So I feel like this will be a pretty good, a pretty good attempt at this challenge, surely. I mean, please, please agree with me. Please, please let this be the, the lucky day where I actually create like a really good challenge. And everyone's like, whoa, did you see Sandra? She did the grayscale challenge and she did really well. And that's how I become the best Sims builder on YouTube. And I become a famous YouTuber. <laughs> because of this one build because I'm so good where is the fruit bowl I need the fruit bowl it's the only constant in my life it's the only thing I know what it looks like okay also these plants yes I'm gonna I'm gonna put them here okay like this where is the fruit bowl am I gonna have to google the fruit bowl where is it oh my god why like when you click on fruit bowl miss decorations you think that the fruit bowl will be the first thing you're gonna find here no 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 it won't be I'm gonna have to search fruit bowl, aren't I? Fruit. Fruit bowl. This one. Oh my god. Jesus, that was difficult. Okay. There's so many different fruit bowls. Whoa, that's a big bowl of fruit. God, we have so many fruit bowls and I hate them all. Anyway, okay. That's a pretty cute kitchen if you ask me. I feel like there has to be like a little plant or something in this corner. It looks a bit boring there. Kind of feel like maybe this one would be cool here. Oh yeah, maybe this painting here as well would be pretty cool. See, I think that one is like a green swatch. Maybe this darker one. I have a feeling maybe this darker one would be nice. Okay, I mean, that's a pretty cool kitchen. I would love to do like a bookcase on this wall, but I know that that's gonna be... No, actually, you won't be able to open the door if I do the bookcase there. That's not ideal. What about a mirror? Is that a weird thing to put in, in this part of the, the house? Like a little mirror in the kitchen? I think that's pretty cool. And I might do like a little... One second. I might put this plant here. And then we could do like this one next to it. I mean, I've never done this before. This kind of concept of the mirror. I think it might be kind of cool. Okay, that's a fully functional kitchen, if you ask me. Um, I'm gonna do the bathrooms last. I mean, the bathrooms are gonna be pretty boring anyways. Let me do the sitting room next. Okay, so as I said, I'm thinking that this is like a nice deep kind of wooden tone going on here. So it would be nice if I just go for like a neutral swatch couch. And since this house is a little bit more stylized, I feel like if I go for like this couch, it'd be a bit no, no, this couch would be a bit too shabby feeling. So I'm thinking, what if I go for, I actually really want to go for this couch, but I don't know what swatch that is. And I don't want to shoot myself in the foot automatically. So maybe, can I go for this? I know, I know we all know what color these are, but maybe whatever color, honestly, whatever color this turns out to be, I will just take it. Like, I will take this color. That's swatch number, okay, number that, whatever that is. If I just get the matching chair and I try find the match matching swatch to it, okay? So, this one. I think, I think, look, let me just do this one thing. I think that couch will look nice. Anyway, I'm gonna put this there. Then we're gonna do a nice, maybe like square coffee table just to fill this space up. Never really do like square coffee tables, but I think that would be pretty. Yeah, that's definitely that gray swatch anyways, for sure, surely. <gasps> my favorite curtains, oh my God, my favorite curtains. See, I think they would be a bit too pale for this. I think these are the darker ones. I really hope so. I'm gonna get my tray. Do you know my favorite tray in the whole entirety of the game? Oh my God, why can't I type? Tray, tray, help me. Genuinely, this tray is gonna save the day. There we go. Tray in the sitting room, beautiful, okay. Also, my favorite rug is definitely going to save the day. I know my favorite rug. Oh my God, where is it? My favorite rug is this one. I might just actually fill the whole room with it. I know it's like an orangey swatch, but I think I want like one of these. I think that would look pretty. And then we could also do uh, maybe this here. Maybe if I go a bit more like that, but change this to, wait, I want it to match that one. So maybe this one. Okay. That's cute. And then I also really want, okay, I want to plant there for some reason. Maybe I'll actually put this one here. Maybe we could do like an arrangement of plants because this plant, like this plant, this house, I feel like maybe what we could, like the kind of narrative we could go with is that this house is like so quirky and so cool that like, you know, these people know that this house is a bit all over the place. They're aware of it, you know, they're, they're okay with it. They kind of wanted this design aesthetic to be a bit different and a bit weird. So maybe they like to have like arrangement of plants everywhere because they're so eco and they're so vibey. And they like to have all these weird, quirky design choices. So yeah, that's what I'm going to tell you. And that's what you should keep in mind for when we're doing the reaction at the very end of this video. <laughs>
Okay, I also want this really cool lamp, this one. Maybe if I put that lamp like here. There we go, perfect. And then this is going to be the book nook. See what I did there, book nook. And I definitely want the really nice snazzy one, which is this one. And I am just gonna leave it with that color. I think that's like a nice rich one with like a bit of gold. So I think that should match. Should match the rest of the room pretty nicely. Um, Now for this, maybe I might put this cute little fat chubby cat there. And then here, just to divide the space I actually might put in this color here I like doing that I think that's pretty cute and then maybe we could put like is there any more trays isn't there like a really cute tray like with lights on it yeah maybe I might put like this tray here to make that little space like pretty cute I don't know I kind of want the coat hanger here as well like the coat rack do you know do you know the one I'm talking about maybe this one and then maybe we could get some shoes give me some shoes please like a nice little arrangement of little shoes here you know i'm very confident in the choices i'm picking but i know for a fact in the end this will turn out to be so weird that you know i just have to be prepared at this point <laughs> So I'm like choosing things wisely now and kind of cluttering the space a little bit more just to make me feel like maybe The Sims actually wanted this to look like that. Maybe I'll put a speaker there. <laughs> I don't know. And even though this is an accent wall, I think I might also put a painting on it. Maybe, wait now, which ones are the nice ones? Maybe like one of these ones. I think that's a green color. So maybe actually the green might match nicely with the wood, deep wood tones. Okay, I like this really sitting room. I like this sitting room. I think it's pretty. I think it's not too bad. Um. Okay, I'm gonna just move on upstairs and do the bedroom while I have these ideas fresh in my mind. So I really want to use this. And I know you're gonna be like, oh my God, Sandra, that's cheating because it's gold and you know it's gold. But look. I feel like at this point, I need to do something that's going to save this build just in case what I'm doing downstairs is just total mayhem. Like, at least give me this, you know? At least give me this confidence that I have in those gold items, okay? Please, <laughs> please give me this. Would that be cool? I think that would be pretty cool to do this. And I might go for like a light swatch because this room is a nice light vibey feeling. So again, with this, we might go for this one. Yeah. My favorite, um, what's it called, chest of drawers is this one. It's a very deep color, so I might go for this one, hoping that this one is going to be the beige one. My favorite gold mirror, obviously, to, to make this space feel right. I might put the mirror, actually, maybe I'll squish that a bit in there. Put the mirror like this. Obviously, my favorite curtain is going to go there, and this one is going to go there as well. And I think upstairs, I am happy to just leave it with this color. I think so. I'd like to think so. I'm nervous now. I think I, I kind of lost all hope with that kitchen. I have a feeling that kitchen is just going to look diabolical. And I do apologize way in advance. I should have just done an apology video to begin with for this, for this, for this video, you know. That's cute. That just slotted up there. That's very nice. Okay. Um, Should I do like a nice little si seat here? Me with my little seats. I like them. Um, maybe, maybe this one. I think that's a white swatch. And then maybe like a nice, um, plant next to it. Wait, maybe we could do this one. Wait, where is it? Yeah, that's pretty. That's very cool. Okay, that's nice. So that's your bedroom. Maybe I could put like one of these there. Or maybe more little shoes here. I think that's pretty cool. And then like a cute basket. Yeah, you see these people, like, they have stuff everywhere because they've been living in this house for ages, you know? But they're pretty like, you know, they're pretty chill. They're pretty laid back. They like to read their books before they go to bed so yeah i like to think that in this house oh wait i want these brown plates downstairs i think these brown plates are pretty I'll put them there i know they're brown because i just know that because i've actually used them in a recent build maybe this mortar and pestle thing as well wow look at that clutter yeah so that's cute that's pretty i'm gonna do the sitting area upstairs so just a nice little you know seating vibey area maybe just like that and I think maybe, wait now, where is that little really low tape? This one, yeah. Okay, we'll put that there. And then maybe on top of it, we will just have just like more books because these people love to read, you know, and reading is good. So can't give out to them for reading. Maybe actually what I will do here is like a little shutter kind of thing like that. I know that that's just like a nice brown color. So that would, that would look adorable hopefully. And then I know that I think, is it this one? No, this one is a nice brown one. So that's going to match this aesthetic. So pretty. Um, okay. I'm just going to do an upstairs like banister. And I think, 
This is gonna be a wild guess. Maybe this one would match. Then we have to match. Oh my god, which swatch was that? Jesus. Okay, one second. That one was the top one. The top one. The second row top one. Okay. So where is? Oh my god, <laughs> I'm blind. I can't see. Um, do we not have the matching one of this? Is this the matching one? Wait, what? Where is the matching one? Is there not a matching one? It's actually not here. Oh no, it's this one. <laughs> I just couldn't see it because oh, I just couldn't see it because it was white. Well. It looked white. That looks horrendous clipping through that. But look, I'm hoping that at least these pillars are gonna look nice. I mean, honestly, I like the layout of the house and I like how I cluttered it and stuff. And in grayscale, it looks lovely. But you know yourself, this could turn out to be totally miserable as actually most of my builds are so you know the fact that this is a grayscale challenge and it's like oh my god it's gonna be so funny to see her mess up all the colors but like half of my builds are just messed up to begin with anyway so <laughs> is this video gonna be any different from my normal content probably not so look anyway I want to use this chair okay no I don't I've just changed my mind because that has an ugly pattern like a stripy pattern like who needs that I like this chair so maybe I could go for nice light wood to match the light wood desk here we will do a nice PC which I know this one is pretty cute that's just like a nice white one um yeah at this point I'm kind of just giving up I don't know should this be this way or should I do it that way Maybe this way, actually. And then, you guessed it, we're gonna have another seating area. Because, <laughs> you know, I like to make sure that, like, you know, when you're just sitting by yourself or if you have guests over, they can always just keep you company. Like, oh, I'm just finishing, you know, recording my video or editing my video. Do you want to just sit behind me and just wait while I finish? Do you know, it's nice to have, like, people next to you while you're while you're editing and stuff. So, you may think that that's a weird thing to do, but I think it's it's cute. Okay? So, stay with me here. Don't ask questions. Okay. Oh my god, no, what am I doing? I'm just being very chaotic now. Okay, I'm gonna do that. Then we're just gonna do a nice rug. And by nice rug, I mean, I think this one. Yeah, I think that one is gonna match. And then maybe just to save us, I'm gonna just put another one of these here as well. Okay, I mean, that's an office. How, how wrong can we go with an office? I don't think we can go that wrong. Let me do the bathrooms. So I obviously want there to be a shower, but I'm kind of thinking... Would bath shower combo be a bit too much here? Yeah, I feel like it would. Let's just do shower. Okay. I like this shower because it has gold accents to it. Like bronzy gold accents. So then I'm thinking, what if I actually go for a black toy? Oh, wait one second right now. People are going to be leaving the shower here. Can I move the door a bit? Um. Oh, no. Okay. If I do maybe the toilet like this no yeah surely that would be fine if i do the toilet like that and then we do um let's see what's one of my favorite sinks where is the really pretty one that has this one so if the toilet's gonna be black i'm hoping wait now which one is the gold okay so i think that's that's black and silver that's black and silver and that's black and gold <laughs> So I'm hoping that this is going to be the black and gold um, combo. So that way then I could use my favorite gold mirror. Okay. Obviously just your regular toilet paper. Um, we're going to go for the black curtain in the bathroom. Because how cool are we? You know, there are black curtains. That's nice. Then we're going to have the black robe. I think this bathroom, honestly, I think I'm acing it. Because I am picking just the black swatches. But I mean, like, it's the bathroom. So we're just going to go in with the flow at this point. And that's obviously black as well. Okay, that's nice. And then we are also going to go for... Oh, God. I want the nice, like... <laughs> warm kind of rug which one was it okay so that's definitely gonna be the dark swatch one of these has to be the warm red i think it's this one like the warm kind of like coppery kind of tone because as i said at the start i think the darker the grayscale color the more warm tone the actual color is anyway that's our bathroom <laughs> then upstairs i'm just gonna do a very very quick basic bathroom so we're gonna do maybe just this regular shower um wait now are toilets functional if i put them here i don't think they are one second what if i do this wait now how do i do this can I not do a, a square bathroom? How am I freaking out with this? Unless, wait now, if I go for the tiny toilet, which is this one, I could squish the toilet in there and then just do a tiny sink. A white one, <laughs> which I'm presuming this is the white sink. And then we can go for the white swatch of this. Yeah, yeah, obviously. Like, I mean, 
common sense, Sandra. Common sense. Nice bit of toilet paper. Um, and then obviously your nice. Uh, no, I'm gonna just leave the roll black. I'm not even gonna bother. Um, I do want to put my little thing here. But I, I don't think I can. My little towel. Maybe I'll just put the towel there. Okay. I, I mean, I think that I'm, I've done a great job. Okay. Personally. Um, <laughs> I think we have everything now. Honestly. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to do a bit of a back garden area. I want something around here. So maybe we could just go for like nice little barbecue. So maybe just that one. And I think think the oh no wait what wait what these ones I think maybe like these nice lounge chairs so maybe i could put like two lounge chairs like this okay just like lounging lounging together where is that really like small little round table wait now where is it it's like really low to the ground almost it's not it's not this one but it's like, wait, where is it? Is it in coffee tables? You know the one I'm talking about. It's like, I just can't find it, I'd say, because the color. Oh, this one, this one, this one, this one, this one. Okay, I like this one. I think there's like a blue swatch somewhere. So looking at the texture of that, I think that's going to be a nice wooden tone. And surely that will match. Um, And maybe we could do, maybe actually we could do some of these nice little, like, outdoor kind of potted plants. Yeah, I think that would be pretty nice to do. Maybe we could do like another little arrangement of that there. So these people are so cute and so vibey that they love their little plants. <laughs> what am I honestly saying at this point? I do not know. I apologize, but I think I'm just losing my mind at this point because I'm... Oh, wait. That's, that's not a table. I'm realizing how shocking this will look. So I think... I think like all hopes and dreams of this becoming like a really pretty setup. I think that's just gone out the window, honestly. I'm not gonna lie to you. I'm not gonna be weird here. I think I think everything has just gone out the window. Might put that there. I, I don't know why I like putting these like little wicker things there. That's pretty cute. Maybe some planter boxes. I mean, at least make this build nice and functional and fun. It's not gonna look pretty. It might as well have some function to it. Yeah, let's do that. Let's put these around the place. I actually like doing that. It makes the build feel a bit more useful. Do you know? It feels like I can actually use this. Okay, I'm just like talking crap now at this point, honestly. I'm just trying to make this feel like it's working, even though it's really not. I might put a bicycle around the side of the house, you know? Just like here in the bushes. Left my bike there. Um, we're gonna do a nice outdoor bin, maybe two of them, because that's obviously just something I do all the time. That's pretty, yeah. Then some outdoor lights, which maybe I'll put this one here. I know that's just like a nice copper one. Another one will go there. And then just honestly, I think just the floor ones, like maybe these ones. I'll put that there, that there. Another one here by the bins, one there. Maybe a couple around here as well. Oh, yeah. God knows at this point. I mean, it's nice and fully functional and it's nicely furnished. But whether this will look pretty, I really don't know. Oh, God, I'm scared. Like, I'm trying to think. What else can I add to make it look nice? Will I add another tree? Maybe I'll add another cute little tree. Because we can't go wrong with trees. We all know what trees look like. So... <laughs> mailbox let's go let's go for a nice mailbox maybe this one fancy and snazzy and it's gonna be black to match the house i just feel like the top maybe it should match that and maybe just in case that color is a bit wonky we might actually do solar panels whoa why are the solar panels kind of glitching out can't intersect roofs but they're not hey they're not i promise it's a platform how is that intersecting with a roof i don't get it honestly I really don't get it. So you're telling me I can't put a solar panel on a roof. Oh, wait. It's because it's not technically on a roof, I think. But Move Objects is on, though, so it should work. Where's the one that's, like, sitting upright? Oh, my God. I'm, like, losing my mind. Why can't I put that there? It's so annoying. I really wanted something up there. Would it look weird if I put, like, a small little chimney? I think that's pretty cute. Wait, should I do my little cute like thing that I do where I take grass and I do like a grass patch like that and I think that way then maybe it will make the house look really cool and like eco what do we think yeah maybe this is something I will do maybe that is something that this house deserves I mean deserves is a strong word maybe it doesn't deserve that but look maybe then like another one of these little things just to make sure the house breathes you know let the house breathe also I want one of these but this one 
and I want it in one second there now let me just I want to no that's way too big by the way but I want it to be there but I want it to be no I suppose the black swatch might make sense here because I think that wall is going to be fully black so maybe we might do another one here that's nice that's very cool I like that okay maybe just like more little overgrown bits here and there I don't know where, where else what else could I hide yeah maybe I'll just put that there and maybe like yeah, maybe one of these here as well. Okay, I mean, that's pretty cute if you ask me, honestly. I think that this house, it's fully furnished. But whether the furnishings are going to be nice, I don't know. So I'm very scared. Should we, should we do a reveal? Or do you want me to like, should we do a house tour first? Yeah, okay. Let's do a tour like this first, okay? So look, it looks stunning. It looks pretty. It actually looks nice grayscale, very modern. Everything looks beautiful. Let's see what it looks like on the inside um, with our grayscale. So first impressions, honestly, I think that's going to be a nice like light wooden gray tone. There's a like a pop of color with that blue. Um, do you know that plant? I mean, that vase should be a blue, white and blue vase. Don't know what color that is. I forgot actually that that is there. That's going to look hideous. Um, this is your sitting room. I don't know. I think it's going to look quite nice. Um, obviously, I think this room is going to just look totally normal. So I'm not even worried about that. Up the stairs then, uh, we've got a lovely little sitting area, which again, I didn't even change the colors of these. So I think that's going to look okay. It's just a bit bland, but I think I got a bit frightened at this point. I think I like the clutter. I think the clutter will really save the day in this build to make it feel like these people have really lived here and they've renovated it over time. It's not like a new build, you know, these people have made their conscious choices to to do these kind of you know design choices with the the colors of the walls and stuff that's just what they've chose over time you know they've been living here for a while and I think that's that's what we're gonna that's the kind of narrative we're gonna go with so are you ready um for me well am I ready actually are you, you guys I don't know are you ready for this? Am I ready for this? I really cannot tell you. So I'm going to now turn off my grayscale on my computer. Okay. And we are going to see what this house looks like. Oh my God. I'm so scared. Okay. I'm ready. I'm going to angle it maybe, maybe just like this so I can see the whole house. And yeah, I'm, I'm going to turn it off. So three, two, one. Let's turn off that grayscale, everybody. Oh my God. <laughs> Oh my absolute god. What have I done? Okay, first of all, it's like really hurting my eyes now to see all the colors back in the game. Oh my god. It's wait now. So that's the trims are red. The trims are red. Oh my god, my Oh, I can see the stairs inside the house are red. Oh my god, the st I repeat, the stairs inside the house. Look at that. A clown lives in that house. Okay, let me gather my thoughts. The only part that looks nice, honestly, is this part over here. Um, that chair is blue. That chair is blue, of course, that chair is blue. I genuinely thought, see, this is what I meant. The reds look really nice and deep and gray. Let's just have a little quick look around. I mean, the back here looks okay. That all looks nice. I mean, I can't give out. It's just really the actual house that looks rotten. <gasps> Not the green pillars with the red accent. Oh my God, okay. Anyways, let's start downstairs. I don't want to spoil it. Oh my God. Oh my God. <laughs> This was a grey wall. <gasps> oh, of course not. Oh my God. I actually should have known. It was from that pack. So of course it would have been. <gasps> okay. I mean, okay. I, I, the gold sink kind of works. Oh God. At least the chairs and the tables match and they match the walls, but everything else in here. Yeah. Everything else in here does not match. Oh my God. This kitchen looks <gasps> the stairs I haven't even looked at the stairs oh my god this is so orange I thought that was like the neutral shade the door is actually navy by the way um so that's fun no I really hate the Christmas themed stairs um yeah again you saw how close those stairs were in color and in, in grayscale so anyway this is your sitting room I thought this was like a dark brown color the couch is like a gray, at least these two match. So that makes sense. Like the, the table, the table matches. So that's okay. Um, the office. Yeah. I mean, okay. The office is actually very cute. Okay. Actually, wait now. The floor is gray. That is the only thing I actually managed to make gray, even though I thought that that floor is going to be like a brown color. Okay. Um, let's see the bathroom. 
okay. I mean, no, okay. I actually, I knew which one that was. For some reason, I just had a feeling. I knew that's exactly the one that I was looking for. And yeah, the gold, I, I managed to do the gold. And yeah, okay. This bathroom is actually probably the only thing that turned out amazing in this whole house. So I'll give myself a little pat on the back for that because everything else out here looks like this. Oh my God. Okay. Anyway. Let's go upstairs, shall we? Okay, so upstairs, um, obviously we're gonna be coming in. Oh, wait now, there we go. Okay, so this seating area is not too bad. It just looks pretty normal, but the, the very offensive red stairs are really staring at me and I really don't like that. One last room, which I am hoping it actually doesn't look too bad. Fingers crossed, the bedroom. Okay, let's see. Ta-da! Okay, one second there now, items are disappearing. That doesn't look the worst. Oh, okay. Well, except for the blue chair in the corner staring at you. I genuinely thought that was white, but whatever. Um, I thought that this was gold. Okay. Well, I was close. Um, it's not. It's like a pipe, like an iron kind of pipe. Okay, never mind. I don't think that's too bad. I think the gold kind of accents saved the day. So it still kind of looks okay. Except for that blue chair. Oh my god. Okay, and yeah, I mean the bathroom is not too bad either. The door is actually Actually, I really thought the doors were going to be a different swatch to what they are. So these two look like they're two totally different door swatches. Um, I don't really know what to say, guys, because I thought I would have done a much better job with the brown swatches. Those are not even the curtains I wanted. These are the ones that I, oh my god, that's the ones that I thought I was using all this time and I thought the wall was this one that I was using do you get me I thought that was the one um yeah the stairs I'm not even gonna comment on the stairs but okay it's I think it's an easy fix to be fair the worst of all I think is that like red trim and the funny thing about all of this is that I actually managed to match that red exterior trim to this red platform that is so funny I actually managed to match those two colors perfectly so like I obviously had the eye for that gray scale but um yeah no it doesn't look it doesn't look the way it's supposed to again it's really giving me that kind of vibe of like oh I just downloaded the game for the first time ever and this is my first time playing the sims I kind of like the green gutters actually I'm not gonna lie they kind of look really cute um but again I thought they were black so my bad genuinely guys what do you think of this house I think it turned out so weird and so some parts of it I must say with confidence I did that I did that office with confidence and that bathroom I, I did have confidence in that bathroom because I am so used to doing bathrooms like this that obviously that makes sense but I genuinely thought even with that couch I picked the ugliest swatch of that couch like I thought that couch would have just been like the easy peasy option I actually picked the worst one I actually think would have preferred the red one but I picked this one. Oh my god I knew this was green but honestly I thought that everything else Else would have looked so different but now honestly with the amount of bad green swatches in this house I feel like that green actually matches there so that's not even the worst part of the house I actually kind of like the Mediterranean vibes going on with this like this mirror and this plant and this this orange wall so like if you kind of look at it from this angle oh my god these are like a greeny kind of gray greeny and these are oh my god okay if you kind of look at it from this side it doesn't look too bad but then you pan the camera over there and you're like no 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 cancel the sims uninstall the game unsubscribe from my youtube channel i don't know what to say i'm pretty upset well guys what do you think of this video do you think i did a good job do you think i did a bad job i mean it's not the worst but it's definitely not my finest work and i genuinely thought i would have done a better job what really was i expecting with this challenge genuinely if you are new here please don't forget to subscribe I promise you there's nicer builds down below so definitely check them out i don't usually build like this i always panic that when people are gonna see this video they're gonna be like oh my god i, I i'm never coming back to this girl's channel because she builds like this i promise there is nicer builds out there that i do occasionally but if you have enjoyed this please let me know what you think of it down in the comments i would love to know your feedback i really want to try doing a grayscale build where i actually just do everything gray like the actual items i pick the gray swatches to make it look like it's black and white i think that's something that we might have to do um in a potentially the next video so let me know what you think of that idea down in the comments and yeah guys thanks so much for watching my weird videos and i shall see you in the next one bye